my friend Michelle Archangel, my other friend Miss Jerry DeQueer, and we're here to talk about Women's Conference 2016, Church Girls Rise. That's hosted by King of Glory Tabernacle right here in the city of Lafayette. They're located at 1325 South Magnolia, and the apostle of that great church is Apostle Brenda M. Cherry. And uh, this, ladies, is another women's conference, a bigger, better women's conference, we're going to say. And where'd this title come from? I know it is the year of the woman, and church girls do rise. <laughs> Y'all might, well, I, I might have to go off into my Maya Angelou now. <laughs> Still I rise. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, 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 the title, Church Girls Rise, comes from the, the scripture Isaiah 60 and 1, which says, the glory, the glory of Zion, that's the glory of God, it arise and shine for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises. We as women has to, have to rise and take our place. We have sat long and hard. It's time to rise. We see in, in, the, in the world today that women are trying to move. When we see, we see women, young women, we see so many single mothers. But what are we doing? Are we just going to let them be the world women? Are we going to bring them in the church and tell them, arise, it's your time. It's time to walk. And this is what this conference is about. And, uh, and uh, go ahead, Ms. It was birthed out of Apostle Spirit, uh, you know, pastoring and seeing, going various places, just seeing women in the ministry all over the world. Uh, every person has not really functioned in the benefits of what the kingdom has brought. And so this conference is designed to show women, to bring them to another level, elevate their thinking. The word says, so as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So it's about elevating their thinking that they're rising up spiritually, they're rising up socially, they're rising up financially, they're rising up in the way they carry themselves physically. So it's basically to shift them in every area of their lives, that women will stand strong and tall and recognize that they are daughters of the king. They, are, they have been chosen and they are royalty. And there are many men nowadays that want a kingdom woman. Yes, ma'am. Want a yes, church ma girl. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. That's what they're looking for. So when, ladies, is the conference? The conference starts on June 16th, which is the Thursday, and it goes to the Friday and the Saturday. June 16th, it start, the service starts at 7. Okay. At King of Glory on South Magnolia. Now, we've invited some very, very special women to be with <coughs> us. Yes, ma'am. And kicking off the conference on that Thursday is who? Uh, our uh, institute speaker is Pastor Sarah Joseph at uh, Daughter of Zion out of Opelousas. Mm -hmm. Our keynote speaker for that night is Dr. Connie Stewart of Houston, Texas. And Dr. Stewart is known as uh, the bloomin', the bloomin', the bloomingest, which is she takes a woman, she inspires that a woman, and she empowers that woman's life. That uh, uh, every woman she encounter, her her desire is to inspire and 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 empower. So her desire is to walk, is to wake up people, up to wake up the giant that lives within us, within the woman. And so she is one woman that we are really, really praying and believing God that will just wake up the women to see what's in me. What have God entrusted in me? The blooming the Bloomenologist. 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 <laughs> That's a new word for me. Yes. And uh, so the conference kicks off Thursday night, a very, very powerful night, and everybody's invited. King of Glory Ministry right here in the city of Lafayette, and I know the church is going to be on fire that night. Then we have Friday night service. Uh, Friday night, uh, who's going to be there? Friday night, it's a, again, it's, it's June 17th at 7 p.m. And the Institute speaker that night is Apostle Shirley Marshall. 
And uh, Apostle Marshall is out of the church, To God Be the Glory, out of Lamarck, Texas. Mm -hmm. And she's the author of the book, Why Is It So Hard to Do the Will of God? Okay. Okay? And our keynote speaker for that night is Prophetess Linda Rourke of Linda Rourke Ministries of Trenton, Ohio. And Prophetess Rourke was previously featured in LMN Prophetess of Ohio, Dynamic and Powerful. So both nights, all nights, <coughs> all three days, we're bringing in somebody to wake up something within us. Now you can make it all three nights, but if you uh, can't, uh, we want you to please attend one of these services on Saturday night. What is oh, going well, on? Saturday is not a night event. And Saturday we'll kick off that sun Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. with a continental breakfast. And then at the hour of 10 a.m. we have a, none other than Dr. Apostle Brenda Cherry is going to come in and she's doing morning glory. And you know morning glory is just an exciting time. Uh, we invite the Holy Spirit to come and we invoke his presence and his power. So that's the, the time we'll really be setting the atmosphere for the, the rest of the activity on that day and then our keynote speaker for that particular day that will be uh, none other than Dr. Blunt from Second Chance Ministries out of Austin, Texas. So that day we'll actually be focusing on relationships, relationships between you and family, church, community. Uh, the main theme for that day is can we all get along? Can we and all get along? this is the hour that that question, somebody has to have the answer. And as the body of Christ, you know, we all should be able to work together. As the word said, one head, many members, but we're all jointly fit. And so if we look at the word, we should be living in the day and time that we can all get along because it's not about control tending or competing, but it's about completing the assignment and the work that God has for our lives. Now, I know somebody's going to preach that one. Oh, that just... sounds like a good preach. Yeah. But not only do we have that this year, there's a special design uh, for our young people, swag, uh, soldiers walking along with God. And in that, this is designed for our young people from ages 5 to 25. And in that, there are going to be a rap sessions. You know, what's on your mind? We go to church and the kids, you know, they're trying to fit in. But this has been designed just for them, that they can just let it all go. Tell us what's on their mind. And the important thing about that is, it's one thing for you to get a word. The street will tell you anything but when you've got the word of God we say that always we'll give you the word the tools that you need now it's up to you to make the decision but our responsibility as the body of Christ is to give them the tools that they need that will govern their lives according to the word of God just like many of our moms and that's grandmothers right. did right. for yes. us that's yes. right. that's it's right. just a new day a new time uh, Young people are receiving ministry differently uh, nowadays, and we are excited yes. about it, and that uh, they uh, are, get, are, are getting to know God just in a different in way, a different in way. their own way. In the means have way. changed, but the method has, the, the message right. itself yeah, has, has not changed. changed. Has not changed, and this is a Women's Conference 2016, Church Girls Rise, and we are so excited. Uh, to have uh, Michelle Archangel and Miss Jerry DeQueer with us. Uh, the host church <coughs> is King of Glory Tabernacle, 1325 South Magnolia here in Lafayette. And you can register for the conference. You can call 236-9809. You'll see those numbers on the screen in just a few minutes. That number again, 236-9809. We certainly want to invite you to be a part of it all really and nice. uh, there's even a when is the young the youth program the youth is going to be that saturday their session starts at 10 a.m in the morning. morning that's right saturday at 10 a.m now i remember uh being dragged i guess you could say <laughs> to church you know i had I, I had no choice right you know at one point in my life and then i got a choice mm -hmm. and i made the choice when I did get the choice on my own, you know, I just continued to go. 
Well, you know, our children today are facing so many things that our generations did not face. And so to find young people today that's with a zeal and a desire and excitement about God, that's something that we should treasure. Yes. Because the world is really offering them so much, and you know, television and the music that they're hearing now. That's and, just, social and social media. Social media, yeah, media. that's the demon that has just monopolized all of their time. So if we can c encourage them through the word and encourage them, to, you know, to, to unite and find strength in the body of Christ, then we've done our part is what God has called us to do. So we're excited about what's going to be happening in a place we're expecting an <coughs> awesome and a great move of God look like we've there's been revivals going on and every night has been a different dimension. So as we're going higher, we're expecting the presence, the power of God to just come in and saturate the place and the people that are a part of, we're not just limiting it to the Lafayette area, but we're calling from Lake <coughs> Charles, Baton Rouge, all over the surrounding areas to come out and actually be a part of this and share. We've got some awesome women of God that's coming in, and we want to be there to, as a support system to them, to let them know that they're not alone. But even they're traveling a distance, we're still here. We're sisters united in Christ, and we're going to do the work. Church girls rise. Church girls Church are rising. Girls rise. And, you know, yes. uh, I, I was just thinking, you know, uh, the subtitle, Can't We Just All Get, get Along? along. Uh, there are many, many churches not only here, but all over the country. You know, I believe that the bodies of Christ need to come together. Okay. Yes, one. You know, Especially in this hour. You're right. They need to come together because as long as we're divided, you know, there, there are churches that won't support other churches. You know, it's like, I go here and this is the only place I'll go. I won't even visit another church. You know, that's the attitude of some people. But the failure, we have to recognize that Christ died for all men, but he made us one. Oh, and yes. so there was no division in the kingdom. The word says what? A house divided cannot it stand. stand. And so when we allow all of that kind of competition to come in, we give the enemy victory and power mm -hmm. to plant the seed of discord. And then when we, once we come into agreement <clears throat> with what he's planted, then we, if we find the destruction happening within the church, then it permeates itself throughout the households and then it gets into the school systems. So it's a lot that really is triggered off by that. So that's why it's it's so important that as believers, we confess Christ, but are we really living the model that Christ put before us? And so if we're going to be what he's called us to be in this season of time, it's not about denomination. It's not about the big church. It's not about your church being better by But what are we doing to impact, empower the lives of God's people? That's the question. And if, if I can just hear a good word, that's what I want. That's right. That's right. I that's right. want, you know, I want somebody to feed me Yes. Uh, some good word. You know, that, the word of God is the same. Right. The word of God is the same. And the one thing that I, I, I believe <coughs> that this conference will do is encourage our women to strengthen our women. Mm -hmm. Not only women, but if there's men that want to come with they're their wives. As well. Right. And they're welcome. But you know, come as one, come expecting. The one thing, we go somewhere, we sit, we either, we either force or we obligate it. But this is your choice, it's freedom of choice. Right. Come and get what you need. You know, I always tell everybody, eat the meat and spit out the bones, wherever you go. Same thing with the work, with the a ministry, wherever you are, if God, and uh, 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 the Spirit of God encourages you to come, there's something there for you. You were meant to be there. You were meant, meant to be That's there. Right. And so many times we miss our blessing because of hearsay. But when we come expecting and being obedient to the Spirit, right there, we got it. Church Girls Rise, it's the Women's Conference 2016 right here in the city of Lafayette. It goes on June 16th through the 18th, and it's hosted by King of Glory Tabernacle right there on Magnolia Street here in the city of Lafayette. That church is founded by Dr. Apostle Brenda Cherry. Uh, and uh, there are some powerful, powerful ladies that will be here in the city that uh, week, that's not too far away. <coughs> and so we wanted to get the message out early that they will be coming. But uh, 
they are going to be here and service time on Thursday night kicks off at 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. And let's go over some of the speakers again. Uh, the Institute speaker for Thursday night is uh, Pastor Sarah Joseph out of Opelousas at Daughters of Zion. The keynote speaker is Dr. Connie Stewart of Houston, Texas, and she's a, a bloomologist. <laughs> That's the one inspiring the women, right? For the giant for the to world. wake up inside of that's inside of them. God has given all of us a destiny, a purpose, and a destiny. And to reach your destiny, you got to know your purpose. Mm -hmm. And from that little bitty seed that someone may have planted years, years and ago. years ago, yep. You know, uh, sometimes uh, you know the seed will take its time. Germinate germinating mm -hmm. and uh, you know so for the bloomologist to be in Lafayette we're excited we're we're excited right we're excited and on Friday night it's June 17th at 7 p.m. the Institute speaker is Apostle Shirley Marshall out of to God be the glory out of Lamarck Texas and the keynote speaker is prophetess Linda Rourke out of uh, Linda Roark Ministries of Trenton, Ohio. All right, and that's the Friday night, and then Saturday morning. That's Saturday morning, we have we'll be opening up service with Morning Glory. Uh, if you have never experienced Apostle Cherry in Morning Glory, you don't want to miss it. I mean, she just sets the atmosphere, brings you into the presence of the Lord, and then we also have Dr. Blum that will be with us from Austin, Texas, uh, and she will be speaking on Can We All Get Along? Can and the other we subject all will be dealing get along? With relationships. Amen. What a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and we're not just talking about about uh, church relationships. We're talking about, about just relationships. Relationships, yes, period. period. That's Me it. and you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Can we right. get along? Can we get along? <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, you know, that there are all kinds of situations I can think about. There are people that's at each other's throat uh, in the workplace. There are people that, you know, uh, backstabbing here and there, your neighbor, mm -hmm. and you may not can get along. Mm -hmm. It's probably Just crazy. something very minute. Right. Mm -hmm. So Saturday is designed to give us the tools as women that we need, that we can go back into the homes, be the type of mother, be the type of wife, be the type of sister, you know, whatever that's needed within the community, within our churches. It's giving us the tools that we can stand and stand with the security and the confidence of knowing who we are in God. And so in the body of Christ, that's what we've experienced, an identity crisis. We mm -hmm. have lost our very foundation of what God has called us and purposed us to be since the beginning of time. We've allowed life and life situations have thrown us off course, but it's time for the church girl to rise and take their rightful place, not just in the kingdom, but in the world in the and world. declare who they are and make a difference. Now there uh, are still a lot of Old Testament ministries that don't believe a woman Oh, we don't want to get into okay. that portion. That's a whole other show. <laughs> that one That's too. a whole other show. <laughs> yeah. And don't believe a woman should stand yeah. and be a minister. Yeah, that's but, a little touchy. I'll yeah. leave that one alone. But you know what? It's not just you minister behind a pulpit. But you minister at home, everywhere you are. But your ministry mi is every. I think I think that's been the conflict because when people say ministry, it's automatically tied to the church. It's automatically tied to the pulpit. But when we understand, Jesus says, "Go ye therefore into all the world." And so He never gave us any uh, gender. He says, "In in the spirit, there is neither male nor female." So if we're really about the Father's business, it doesn't matter who or where it's going is that the word is getting out and that's the important thing ministry is about servanthood mm -hmm. am i willing to serve my brother and my sister it's not about hooping and hollering over a microphone or conjuring up a, a, a you know a number of people it's what am i doing on the day-to-day -day basis see for a lot of people church begins from the call to the benediction but if we want to really live it like christ it's how we live from the benediction to the call of worship that's where real ministry goes into effect Right. And sometimes it's not even about the pulpit. It's not even about the church. 
everywhere you go, you should be representing Christ. That's it. What is on. Christ? There's a Christ that, you know, the Bible says we are made in the image of God. So if we're made in God's image, am I going to be choosy about who I love and choosy about who I sit next to and choosy about who I speak to? All kinds. Can we just <laughs> all get, get along? along? <laughs> Can we all just get along? And I think if we just do it, if we see that our children, they're afraid to, to, to say what's going on at school because of what's going on in the home. That means there's a barrier, there's a breakdown there. Let's get it all together. And, and we uh, included in this uh, conference, there's something for our young people, swag. Swag, soldiers walking along to God, with God. And in that, like I say, it's so important. The word says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and, and a light, light. Unto, my, mm. unto my path. And so if we're putting them on the pathway, we don't want them just, we don't want to just be in the situation, do as I say do, but as women in the community, we want them to do as we do. And that makes the difference. Many times we'll send them to church. Let's not just send them anymore. Let's bring them. Let's become the family unit within the household of God. And when we can start there, then everything that is connected to us, we'll see a difference. We'll see a change. And so I our focus is gearing in on our younger generations because that they're not going to be the future. They are the now. And if we can save one child, we listen to the number of killings on the street, innocent bystanders just losing their lives over foolishness. But if we can save one and that one go back and reach another, oh my God, just think about the, the impact we can make just right here in the city of Lafayette. Right. So what's going to be happening that morning with our young people? That morning when they they have games that are designed for them, but there's praise and worship that's going to be going on. Then we have sessions that are set up for them, basically getting some insight of where they are. And then, like I said, directing them to the word. A lot of times the kids are really afraid about talking with their parents. They feel like their parents don't understand. There's a language barrier, you know, the difference in generation, generational barriers. But we want to pull down all of those barriers and give them free course to just let it all go. Tell us what's on your mind and we'll have counselors there or advisors <coughs> or leadership that'll be present just to gear, steer them and direct them to the word. And like I said, we're just going to give you the tool. We're not here to place judgment, condemnation, none of those things. But, but the Bible says, it's with loving kindness have I drawn thee. And so when we give love, that's the setting of the atmosphere. We just want to love on them, encourage them. Yes, you might have made a mistake. We all have. There's no difference between you and I. But the one thing we have in common is God is the restorer of us all. And he loves us all. He's never forsaken us. And no matter how low we go, he's always right there to help us to rise up to the level and the occasion. Church girls, Church rise. girls are rising. rising. Women's Conference 2016, June 16th through 18th, King of Glory Tabernacle, right here in the city of Lafayette, 1325 South Magnolia. Uh, here in Lafayette, uh, right off Pinhook, Apostle Brenda Cherry. Now, you can register for this powerful conference by calling 236-9809. That's 236-9809. And ladies, I just want to thank you uh, for coming on today. And I know you want to issue uh, a welcome. They can also email at kingofglorytab at gmail.com. Okay. All right. But... Uh, I know you want to invite some people. Just well, we invite Lafayette area, the surrounding areas, Abbeville, Ville Platte, you name it. You, everybody's invited. There's no limit. Uh, we just gonna we just want to pack the house and feel the presence and the power of God as we support, as we encourage one another, as we're pushing. We're gonna birth out some things on Saturday, so we're gonna push people to their destinies. And I believe God has assigned the right people for the right time in the right hour to see magnificent, marvelous things that's gonna happen that will not only impact the church but will impact the society. All right. Thank you, ladies, for Thank coming. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. That's going to wrap up our show for today, and uh, we'll be back again next week with another topic, another guest, and something else. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm Portia Evans. You be blessed, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.